In this short video, what I'm actually trying to do is photograph jackdaws and rooks, preferably jackdaws in flight. I'm using this wooden fence post that I used in the last video to photograph starlings. And again, I'll be putting food in the channels at the back there. Now, what I'm actually aiming to do is actually to get jackdaws either on the post, but also in flight. Now behind me, there's this tree and up on the top of the tree, there's a branch. And what happens is that they're a little bit wary jackdaws. What will happen is they'll land up on there, have a good look around to check that everything is all right, and then fly down onto, onto this post. So what I try to do is actually get them as they're flying down here using the OM1 150 to 400. Distance from the hide is probably something like about 30 foot. So that won't be a problem. I can frame them up there and as they fly down, get a series of shots. Hopefully also might get some interaction because sometimes they'll fight on here. So what I'll do is initially I'll use this and then what I'm going to change around is to actually get them photograph on a log and hopefully get them as they're flying down to that. So this is the branch on the tree that the actual crows and jackdaws like to land on first. And invariably they'll land up on there first, have a good look around before they're happy and feel safe to come down onto the post. That also gives me the opportunity when I see them up there to get them in flight as they fly from that branch down onto the post and using SH2 that's not too difficult a job. So now I'm going to show a few slow motion video clips of both jackdaws and rooks. These are shot on the OM1 at 240 frames per second and using a shutter speed of 500th of a second. As you can see from these video clips, I do get more than one jackdaw coming in at one time. Although these video clips are shot in slow motion, you will notice that the jackdaws often hover for a brief second just before landing on the fence. When this happens, it's then quite easy to get a good sequence of shots as the bird is hovering. This can lead to some nice shots where the birds squabble and interact, as in this clip of two jackdaws scrapping. Although it's possible for me to photograph the jackdaws as they fly from the branch, I much prefer to photograph them as they're coming in to land on the fence. The problem with photographing them as they fly from the branch is that often they're too close to the background and the leaves and branches of the tree can look very messy and confusing. As they fly nearer to the fence, the background is a lot further away and will yield a cleaner, more diffused background. With so many birds coming in, it does make it more difficult to get cleaner portraits of individual birds, but with patience, it can still be achieved. So for the flight shots, I'm using SH2 rather than ProCapture SH2. My reasoning is that ProCapture is great for a sequence of shots after you've seen the action. So if I wanted to get shots as it flew from the branch, I'd probably use ProCap. Because I wanted to concentrate on shots as they flew nearer to the fence, I just used SH2. I do have bird tracking selected and the focusing set to continual autofocus with all focusing points selected. Using SH2, I will still get 50 frames per second, just the same as if I was using ProCap. Although I will use the autofocus to lock onto the bird as it leaves the branch, I don't fully press the shutter until it gets midway between the tree and the fence post. This enables me to get a series of shots as it flies in. 
it's then just a simple case of selecting the best image in the sequence and cropping out the fence in post-production. So here I'm showing a few shots where the jackdaws were coming into the post that I used in the Starlings video. As the post is a lot smaller than the fence, they are a bit more nervous of landing on it, but when they're hungry, they will soon overcome their wariness. Occasionally, a jay will land on the post, but once one of the larger birds flies in, the jay will soon fly away. As well as jackdaws coming in for the free offerings, I was getting rooks coming in as well. And because they are larger birds, the jackdaws tend to give them prominence. One bird that I have had coming to down today that I didn't really expect is rooks. I had the jackdaws coming in, this one just come in there now. Um, and I got some nice shots of rooks as well as jackdaws. When the rooks come down, sometimes they're coming down in twos and threes and get two of those on the fence post and they really do squabble. Unfortunately, even at 150 mil, it's a job to get them all in. Uh, so I m might need to go out and move the post back slightly. So after a couple of failed attempts where I clipped the wings of the rooks, I decided there was no alternative but to get out of the hide and move the fence back a few feet. Because the fence is on spikes, this was quite easy to do. The only problem was that after having got out from the hide to move the fence, it will then be some while before the rooks are confident enough to come down again. These two rooks decided to scrap, and it was only by zooming the 150 to 400 back to the 150 mil length that I was able to get both birds in. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please give it a like and subscribe to my channel to be notified of future uploads. Thanks for watching.